Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Mr. Fork, and welcome back to Tomb Raider. In the last episode, I don't know what we're doing really, I think we're like infiltrating a Trinity camp sort of thing, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we're kidding. we're stealth killing everyone, we're learning how to stealth kill, so I'm loving it. I keep hearing footsteps, which worries me. Because I do not want to get caught. Where are they coming from though? So we're just going to... I don't want to loot them just yet. I think I want to take the safe way out and kill them all first. I think they're upstairs. Probably. Huh. Alright, let's see if I can see them. Laura? Okay. Where are they? I hear them, but I don't see them. That worries me. Come on. Come on. I'll explore this base camp as soon as he's dead. That's like the only condition I have here. See anything out by the fences? Nothing. But we didn't see the first ambush until they were already inside. They knew the layout of this place. Shit. This was supposed to be a routine. Huh? Got him. Oh my god. We got the stealthy. So, as far as I understand, the stealthy one means that we kill everyone without getting caught even once by one of them. Which is something I'm loving. Because then it, it, it even rewards me even more for playing stealthily and not getting caught. Which I like. I really do like that. So, now we can explore everything freely. Pick everyone up. Everything up. Let's listen to this. I know you're taking some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. Discreet. Give me one second, guys. I need to put my alarm. I forgot. All right. Obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Uh, so it seems like Trinity keeps some of its men in, its dar in, in the dark, which means that not everyone is evil. So should we not go on a murderous rampage? What does that mean? Mm, an old Soviet plaque. Do we understand Lenin it? Lived. Lenin lives. Lenin will live forever. What? Okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Um. All right, we're gonna continue ex not exploring. Sorry, uh, picking up everyone because we didn't actually do that. Considering we were killing everyone. We might actually be able to get a lot of cool things. Let's see. What do you give? Six arrows. What? Oh my god. Jesus. We got some berries over here for healing. Like, I'm starting to believe we're set for life. I really like the fact that we can stealth around and kill everyone. It just feels really well done. Did I already pick up everyone? Seems like. I mean, we're just beginning the game, so I have a feeling they're going to get harder by the, you know. But being able to see whether they're looking at each other or not has actually been a really nice improvement to the stealth mechanic. Because that means I know who I can kill without worrying about whether or not, you know, the game will follow its rules. Alright, so it said, how is it that I drop it? I don't Middle mouse? I don't remember how to drop it. That's not good. Nice. What's that? Oh, a semi-auto pistol part. Right. That's why we're doing this. Right, 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 right. Now, my question is, why can't we just take the guns from the evil guys, you know? I saw that one with a rifle or something. So, I don't know. It sounds to me like we should be taking their guns. Or we should be able to take their guns. Uh, yes, I am recording. I was worried for a second. I remember the times when <laughs> Ori and the Blind Forest... Oh! Ori and the Blind Forest where it wasn't recording. Oh man, all those lost episodes. What are you doing, Lara? 
What am I supposed to do then? Aren't you supposed to go up? What? Are you okay? Um. Oh, we're supposed to jump onto. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. There we go. Now we can scramble here. Nice. And we made it. I don't know where we're going. Am I missing anything? Feels like I am, but. Let's just go on. I mean, after all, I do think we can walk back and forth between all these places. From my understanding of how the game works. Oh, uh oh. Why are you hiding, Laura? I don't know. Instinctively, I felt scared. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to burn. Okay, okay. Okay, then. Mouse button five. Okay. So it's the scramble button. To just drop it. So let's try it out. Just in case. Huh? Huh? That was not good. We want to avoid that. At all costs. Uh, my nose tickles because of my mustache. Oh, oh, more people. Oh, he's dead. You can tell by his eyes. He looks like a zombie. Where? Can I save them? Oh, I got you, buddy. I got you. <laughs> I'm not going to let you die. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. The journal of a remnant scout sent to observe the approach of the Soviets as they built the railroad to this place decades ago. All right, I saved you. You okay? I'll heal you. They have him imprisoned. <coughs> God, God. Oh no. no. Oh, I didn't get to save him. Oh man. That's the right way. So let's go this way. Pick lock? We can actually pick lock? What? We can actually... <gasps> oh, we got a spring of some sorts, I think. Or is that a pick lock? Oh, it's not a pick lock. Just making sure. I mean, first we had goddamn hairpins. You don't know when a spring might work as a pick lock. Let's just continue forward then. That means we will probably get a pick lock soon enough. Switch weapons. Use one, two, three, and four. Uh, to switch weapons and ammo. Okay. So the gun so far feels kind of nice. Where are we going? Oh, we're jumping. Why can't I pick lock now? Is there nothing? I guess not, because otherwise it would let me. I, I guess we're going. I mean, we haven't even gone through it. To <gasps> How's it looking? Nah, I'm not sure I can stop the leak. This doesn't work. Let's trip the pipe to get a new battle. So we can explode that. Oh my god, that's the guy that attacked us at the Prophet's tomb. Uh, that's the episode we lost. We got attacked by this guy. So yes, he's sir. constant. Constant. 
I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you? Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Jesus. That must hurt. But then again, that's what you get for working with a man like this. That's always the case. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. Like that's the truth, you know. If you if you if you get stuck with men like him, you can't expect to survive. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Uh oh. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the divine source. Uh oh. So our job is to kill everyone. One, two, three, four, five. I had counts only five. What do we do with him? Nobody touch him. Okay, so he's not seen. He's not seen. What the hell happened? Okay. This thing is fifty years old. Looks like the valve failed. One down. All right, let's get it shut. Two down. Okay, I got this. Three down. I'm gonna check it out. Be right back. I copy. What was that? They saw the body. Got a corpse. Gotcha. Oh my god, we did it! Stealthy! <laughs> nice. We could have probably blown up the leak. My eyes. Help me. I, should I take him out? I don't know. Like, the thing is, is he evil? If he's evil, I'm just gonna let him suffer. But if he's not, I kinda just wanna take him out. Ah, it's the merciful thing to do. There you go, my friend. I mean, he already lost his eyes, you know? And he heard everyone around him die, I think. Which also must be pretty traumatizing. If he was evil, he deserved to stay alive, but we can know that. Not really. And I would rather not wrong a just man. If you understand what I mean. So that thing we could probably blow up. I kind of want to. In fact, I'm gonna. Oh my god. Money. So I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna blow it up. After taking cover. Oh. I was expecting... That's what I was expecting. Wait, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Oh my god. Okay, can I please click the right button? You and me. Okay, I don't have dodgeball, so I'm just gonna Jesus. How did he know? Oh, oh, where am I getting shot at from? What was that? Was that like a sniper of some sorts? Huh? Crap. One down. Huh? Um. What the hell? I was trying to stop and pick this guy up. And she just kept walking. Okay. So was I not supposed to blow that up? More Soviet propaganda. Night won't prevent us from working. Night won't prevent us from working. Russian level two, nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw like a breakable wall a while ago. Like that was I don't even remember how long ago that was anymore. What is there up here? Please don't do that. We have limited healing sword, Lara. 
Okay, we have Laura. Are you okay? What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I, I, I maybe there was, I wasn't supposed to do anything special. Hmm. I mean, I could have blown this guy up. So, but other than that, I don't see what else we could have done to get out of there. We have to go here. Oh, nice more wood. <laughs> That's always a bright side. Every time something horrible happens. Oh, nice wood. Okay, where? How? Am I supposed to like? Oh, okay. I thought this was fenced. That was my bad. I'm stupid. Oh, there's more enemies here, isn't it? Isn't there? Aren't there? New base camp discovered. Oh man, this feels dangerous. This smells dangerous. This just has dangerous written all over it. Huh. I have to go up there. Okay. Let's pick these healing berries. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm getting allergies. Well, mild allergies, not too much. Not getting in that way without being seen. Must be. <coughs> <coughs> Through the back door. Is there something I'm missing over here? I sure hope not. Let's just continue. Uh oh. We're going straight into a group of them. Assisting allies will yield beneficial rewards. Optional missions available. Don't shoot. I'm not your enemy. Hi. It's so nice to have a friend. People. All that can come later. If you want answers, then listen close. Yeah. We've managed to destroy the old radio tower. Yeah. But there are repeaters that keep them connected. We need to shut them down. Sounds wonderful. Help me. And I'll let the others know they can trust you. Yes. We need all the allies we can get. Yes. Yes. Make sure we're lockpick. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for them. Oh my god, can I make this fire? Nice. Survival instance can highlight locations and damn it. I was trying to turn on the fire. Roth is determined that I should learn how to shoot. However, Roth. he tried to teach me today. I was utterly hopeless. Oh. I always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. I'm like the perfect mix between the two. And said that he hoped I could find the right words to slow down a charging bison. I told him that's what he was for. Bless him for trying. <laughs> so I'm like, don't think there'll be any more lessons somehow. Roth always said I must have gotten my sharp eyes and steady hands from Mum. That summer, he taught me to shoot instead. I took to it. Maybe too well. Oh man, I miss Roth. All right, now we have a point. Why can't I do these just yet? Uh, master two more skills in any category. Okay, nice. So we already got arrow retrieval. I don't think I'd need any of these two. Oh, what is this though? Oh, we already have this. Okay. Um, Lightfoot, incendiary, resourceful combatant. We can try that one. Um, and what, what else do we have? Explosions and fire. While dodging, while timed. Okay, I kind of want this one. Enemies killed while in stealth. I need these two, I think. I'm going to go for a dodge counter, though. Just in case we get caught more often from here on out. Let's go into weapons upgrades. We're running out of time anyway. Yeah. This has to be for the next episode. So in the meantime, let's upgrade. What can we do for the gun? Damage, polished barrel. Can I craft it? Yeah. Can I spare? Yeah. Recoil stability seems pretty good, but this is what's important so far. And I want this rate of fire. We need some... Uh, what's this? What's the name of this? This is a uh, salvage. Okay, so we need some salvage. Uh... We shouldn't change outfit just yet. We're still, um, you know. For this, we need the exotic hide. 
Alright, I'm gonna stop the alarm from sounding. Stop. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. In the next one, we will do our first optional quest. Are the transmitters destroyed? Um. I haven't found them all yet, but I will. <laughs> anyway, we will continue on with our optional quest. Going towards also that way and getting a lockpick. So we can learn how to lockpick, apparently. It's pretty nice, pretty cool. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.